billions of dollars every year. We pay taxes they get distributed to the other states. Yes. Um, well, cer certainly a lot of, uh, we, we see, you know, much like we saw in the age of industrialization, right. where things became very centralized, um, the age of uh, information may, may be the, the age of organic organization, uh, really, because we, we see a lot of things, networks, uh, uh, groups of organizations like the Libertarian Party all moving towards less um, centralized models and more organic models. Uh, so it, 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 I, I could feel you know, the, the paradigm changing in that kind of direction. I see it as a possibility, so it's interesting you bring it up. Yeah, uh, yeah, just real quick, and, and just to say, and I'll, I'll get to you in just yeah, a second. Um, any talk about how technology is bringing us closer, there's as much research showing that it hasn't done any of that. 90 to 80 percent of all of your communication, the average person that you do online, is not with someone in a foreign country, it's with someone who lives on your block and that you see every day. Well, the, the difference is that instead of having one person broadcasting information to all of us, we we go out and get the information ourselves. Right. This the the, the, the authority for where the information comes from has returned to to, to, the, to being local. Oh yes. Which yeah. We, which you know a, a government that returns more to being set locally uh, oriented uh, would would seem to follow the way a lot of our society is going. Is my point. Yes. Yes. The democratization of the internet does go in line with more local control since you're able to have more information brought into your immediate area. Well, you, you go and you find what's interesting to you. You're right. the authority for what information you get rather than, you know, one or two networks deciding the same information to serve for everybody. I so, would agree I would agree with the internet. But not with standard media. Most of the standard media. Right. Right, but uh, this is not a conspiracy theory. You can Wikipedia this. Most of the news and television stations were about 400 companies about 10 years ago, and they've been consolidated down to three. So there is no more diversity in standard media. However, the Internet's our last bastion. And, and definitely with this book and the plan proposed, there would be more local control. If Sacramento had to start looking at international issues, it wouldn't have time to deal with a lot of the issues that it now does, and a lot of that would get pushed back to the counties. So people would have a lot more direct democracy. Uh, please, sir. Given both the way the California population votes and the way the California legislature is, what makes you think there's any possibility there'd be less bureaucracy and less taxes? Right. Um, if we aren't using the services that the Fed provides, then we don't have to pay for them. Your federal income taxes are, on average, what, three to five times larger than your state income taxes? So I'm saying, because this, this is a state, the only state in the union that does, like, an eight-hour work day as opposed to a 40-hour work week for an overtime regulation. I just don't see how there's a possibility that more independence would create a more bureaucratic nightmare, just at the uh, level. Uh, of yes. Given the population. That we have yeah. The, uh, <laughs> I, I've had this question before. The um, do we have what it takes as a state to pull this off, given that we have so many problems and... and uh, no, I think I, I just... Do we have... Are we just going to make it worse? Because we have a... I'm not saying our national politicians are great, but I'm not saying our local politicians are much better. So right. that's just sort of a... I don't know which one I trust less. Right, right. Uh, and I get this question a lot. <laughs> you should trust your local politicians over D.C. every time. Because your elections are actually more fair and your vote counts more. There's simply fewer bodies to vote, so it's more allowed. Nobody in the power structure thought Arnold Schwarzenegger was going to win the governorship. The people voted him in. And maybe that wasn't a great decision, but that is proof. <laughs> it's proof of direct democracy. It's proof that whatever the people want actually happens at the state level. The people have the right to make bad decisions, good decisions. That proved that we have more direct democracy than you'll ever see at the federal level. But we also have the initiative system, which creates say 28 or whatever, however long our constitution is. Right. And right. People vote for themselves. They vote benefits for themselves, and they vote taxes for someone else. Right. Uh, so two answers. One is that yes, our constitution is the most complex of all the other states in the United States, like uh, maybe New Hampshire. We still keep running. I had this question before. Um, 
the fact is, is that for all of our problems and all of our diversity and all of our complexity and our long constitution, we are the state that constantly innovates and it's not the 49 others. So climate change was developed here. Uh, eight hour work days and regulations on workers were developed here. Uh, the ban on interracial marriage was, uh, no? Well, no, I'm just saying. Okay. Developed and done away here? Yeah. Right. Well, actually, um, actually, Brown versus Board of Education happened in 1954, but California already banned segregation in 1932 in Lemon Grove. We did the same thing with a law that forbid people of different races not to marry. We were 20 years ahead. We did the same thing for women's rights. We did the same thing for recognizing Jewish genocide. We did the same thing for Armenian genocide. We did the same thing for insurance re regulation and, 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 and regulation. And, and, and conversely, we were one of the first ones to, to enact marriage laws. We were one of the first ones to enact uh, narcotics laws. Right. We were one of the first ones to um, uh, impose income taxes. We right. were one of the, so I think what Ricky was saying is that, you know, what makes you think that if we do bring things more local to California and take the authority away from the feds, that California is going to be better at doing those things than the, than the feds were? Yeah. Because we have a history here in California of legislating everything. Right. Right. Uh, I don't think that our government is more complex than the myriad of laws that are passed in D.C. And the other thing is that even if it is, it's that you're closer to it. So even with the complexities and the difficulties, the fact